y'all, today we're gonna be talking about how to set the proper budget for a Facebook ad campaign. One of the most common mistakes we see when people are advertising on Facebook is that they're spreading their budget way too thin across way too many ad sets and too many campaigns. In this video, we'll discuss how to avoid this and how to set up your budget correctly so that you can have the most success advertising on Facebook. First, let's talk about what not to do. Like I said, many people we see have their budget spread way too thin across way too many ad sets. So why does this matter? This is a mistake because you need to set your daily budget based on how many ad sets you have within a campaign. To avoid this, you always need to follow this specific budget formula. The formula is your CPA times 50 divided by 7 equals your daily budget per ad set. Your CPA is your cost per acquiring a customer. That 50 in the CPA times 50 stands for 50 conversion events of whatever you're optimizing your ad campaign for. Facebook's best practice says that it needs 50 conversion events to be able to understand the desired customer that you're looking for and from there on you'll have the most data and learnings through that ad set for it to be effective at lowering your cost per acquisition. Facebook recommends that you get 50 conversion events within a week which is why you divide it by seven. I want to point out that this formula specifically states daily budget per ad set not for the entire campaign. That's why if you have more than one ad set within a single campaign you need to make sure that your budget reflects that. You should give each ad set its full chance of exiting the learning phase by giving it the proper budget that it needs to be successful. Next, it's important to talk about how using different bid strategies can affect the way that you set up your daily budgets. We're going to focus in on how to best utilize cost caps as using this bid strategy is CTC's best practice. For the bid strategy cost caps or cost per result goal, you're able to set a specific target CPA for what you want a campaign to deliver. And in a nutshell, if Facebook cannot deliver that desired CPA target, then it won't spend on your ad set. For setting your CPA target on a cost cap campaign, we recommend slightly inflating your target to start about 15 to 20 percent above your desired CPA target. So for example, if your target CPA is $55, you'd want to start with it around $66, 20 percent above your desired target. And after around four to seven days, if your cost caps are getting full delivery, you can dial in your caps towards your desired CPA target. We also recommend setting up a slightly higher daily budget than what you actually need to pick up variable demand on different days of the week. The beauty of cost caps is it will only spend if there is demand at your desired CPA target. So if you're willing to spend more than your average daily budget, you can set it higher with the expectation that will only spend through if there is that demand there. Cost caps can take some tweaking, but it's really beneficial to protect your downside on days when demand is down so that you don't spend into inefficiencies. In fact, there are three main decisions that you want to make when you're adjusting your cost caps. Rule number one is if your target budget is being hit consistently, increase your daily budget. Rule number two, if my budget is being hit consistently, but I'm under my CPA target, then increase your cost cap. Rule number three is if your budget is spending through consistently, but you're over your target CPA, then reduce your cost cap. And remember, if you aren't getting your full budget delivered through your cost cap, that means that Facebook has determined the ads will not perform at your desired target CPA and therefore not spending to protect your downside. I want to be clear that the goal is still to get 50 conversion events within one week through a cost capped ad set. Getting those 50 conversion events in a week is likely going to be driven through great creative strategy, good advertising, and having a great offer. If you're unable to get those 50 conversion events in a week, it's likely not your bid strategy or anything in the account, but it's likely your creative strategy that needs to be dialed in. And test new things until you can get something to spend through and then continue to iterate off of what you've learned from that best performing ad concept. If you need different ideas on how to get your cost caps to spend through, check out a recent video by our CEO, Taylor Holiday, where he goes over the backlog of ideas and how we are able to get our cost caps to spend and scale efficiently. And the beauty of cost caps is you can do a ton of creative testing and then see what gets delivery and then use that to inform your creative strategy moving forward. And also see what wasn't spending and try to figure out what about those ads didn't work well so that you can help that inform your creative strategy moving forward as well. You need different ideas on how to get your cost cap campaigns to spend. You can test a bunch of different things at the same time and only spend into what's working and then scale that up in particular. Now, I want to address exceptions where using highest volume as a bidding strategy would be a good idea. At CTC, there are two exceptions when we won't use cost caps. We usually run highest volume or advantage plus campaigns during sale periods or when you run vetted creative that you've already proven can perform well at desired KPIs 
based on historical data. To wrap up the video, we went over how to set up your daily budgets to ensure you have the most potential for success on Facebook ads. We went over the specific formula that you need to set your daily budget per ad set, and that's your target CPA times 50 conversion events divided by seven equals your daily budget per ad set. By following these methods, using cost caps and understanding when the right time is to use the highest volume bid strategy, you can ensure that your ads get the learnings they need to be successful while protecting your profit margin. Ensuring that you scale your ad accounts while keeping profitability in mind. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment if you have any questions, and consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.